Hey, this is Austin Weber with Weber Bracketology, where every day is Selection Sunday, and we have a bracket update for today, Tuesday, February 21st, and this is the first one since the committee announced their top 16 teams, so obviously games have happened since then, So, but those, that's, pretty, that's reflected in here a little bit with some slight changes. That were not how I had my bracket before. So um, we're just going to start looking at the top line. Um, Alabama, Houston, the top two. I had Kansas as second overall before that, but they have them at fourth overall on the one seed line, and I did not really agree with that. Um, but they've since then they've beat Baylor and at at TCU, excuse me. And so I moved them up to the third spot at least. Um, the two line, um, Baylor dropped one spot. That's it on the two line after losing to Kansas because obviously losing at Kansas is not a bad loss at all um on the three line um so virginia and kansas state and indiana i have on the three line i i wouldn't have had indiana as a three seed i had them as a five before the committee but they had them as the highest four and with iowa state's loss um i bumped indiana up to that three line um with their win um against illinois because well that, that's a good win and iowa state obviously lost um the four line though iowa state's sitting there with marquette gonzaga xavier not much change there um the five line the five line i kind of based on the four teams they said were close to that 16th spot which were in alphabetical order they said creighton um miami yukon and saint mary's um, so I just have, those are the teams I have on the five line right now. They all did fine over the weekend to stay there. St. Mary's I did have dropped below TCU, um, but then after TCU's win over the weekend, but then TCU's loss, I put them back to the sixth line. They're there with San Diego State Northwestern, who keeps on moving up, though I don't think they get much higher with their net ranking. Um, and Illinois, they can I think they can get up to a five maybe. Um, and then on the seven line, Iowa, Maryland, even though they lost to Nebraska, Duke and Providence is moving up. There's just a lot of losses from like seven down in this in this bracket over the weekend. On um, the eight line, we have Rutgers, Auburn, Michigan State, Mizzou. The nine line, uh, Kentucky has moved all the way up to the nine line um, with their win against Tennessee and all the other losses around them. I mean, their the resume is starting to look fine. Um, I think they're going to be in the tournament at this point unless they start dropping games, which I don't really think will happen. Um, there's only a few games left. So I think Kentucky is probably pretty solidly in the field right now with NC State, Arkansas, Nevada also on the nine line. Kentucky is my lowest of the nine seeds. Um, they're not the highest. Um, they're, that's just where they are because that's where they had to fit in. Um, on the 10 line, Boise State, Pittsburgh, Florida Atlantic, Texas A&M has moved up to the 10 line. They did beat Mizzou. Um... They they can go higher than ten. Texas A&M is an interesting team. Um, they have two quad four losses. Um, they, it's hard to move them higher than a ten. Personally, they're the highest ten. Um, but I did think their resume was a little worse than Kentucky's because of those losses. Um, on the eleven line, we have Mississippi State, West Virginia getting the last two buys. West Virginia would have been lower, but they did beat Oklahoma State last night, and Oklahoma State is one of those last four in with Memphis, Oklahoma State, USC, Wisconsin. No real changes to the um, auto bids. I mean, oh, I, I need to fix it. It says Northwestern State. That's Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Um, so that that needs to be fixed. That, that's that. So that's the sixteen seed up there and other than that uc irvine is in for uc santa barbara and we're gonna head down look at these last four buys last four in last four buys were pittsburgh boise state mississippi state and west virginia and we already talked about the last four in this first four out i mean if you couldn't tell these brackets no team is really moving in and no teams are moving out like wisconsin usc have been the last two it seems like forever at this point um, because the other teams outside are kind of losing a lot. Um, North Carolina is still that first team out. New Mexico, second team. Utah State's moved up after being Nevada. Oregon's dropping. Texas Tech, very much, if they win a few more games, will be in this tournament. Um, being in the Big 12, they they can get wins. Um, they play a terrible out-of-conference schedule, but really... Texas Tech has a shot to get in at this point because of all the losses around them. And then Seton Hall, Arizona State, and Michigan. Um, with just a few weeks left, um, the bracket, it's starting the, the one line. I'd be very shocked if these aren't the four. Maybe Texas could get up there, especially if they beat Kansas in the last game of the year for them. Um, Arizona, 
I don't know if Arizona can get up there just because they're the teams that they did lose to and the lack of quality in the Pac-12. They probably have to win out win the Pac-12 tournament to have a shot at that. Um, but yeah, other than that, the bracket's feeling pretty pretty set right now. I'm there's going to be very minimal movement for teams. I feel like the most movement is going to come after the seven line. Um, the eights, nines, and tens seem to be where a lot of my movement is happening. Um, even like the elevens are like staying at an eleven because um, of all those teams losing and everything. But yeah, so really, I'd look for the eight, nine, ten line. Obviously, like the bubble area. Even though at this point, um, I don't think the eight, nines are really the bubble. I think they're in. I think. If you're looking at the bubble, you're looking at 10 seeds down right now. And even then, I think Pitt, Florida Atlantic, and Texas A&M are going to be in this tournament. Um, But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your March Madness season. There will be another bracket on Saturday morning. Um, But yeah, enjoy a great week of college basketball, and we'll see you on the weekend.